Welcome back to the Eric Show. I'm your host, Eric Mojo, and this is the most controversial talk show in YouTube history. Oh, I just, I just had a fit in the blower on BP and wife and America. So, we took a break, we calmed down, we are back, and now we are back with a laughable moment. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard it, but I heard it on the news. I heard that the Iran president wants to have a debate with President Obama. <laughs> Come on, Iran. I don't know anything about the country of Iran. I don't know the president of Iran. I, Iran. I don't know anything, but if you want to debate with President Obama, bring it on. Come on now, because honestly... What I heard about President Obama and his speech and his debate, they are awesome with them. So, bring it on. I mean, I sort of laughed my ass off. Why was I win President want to debate with President Obama? Don't know. But that made me laugh. So, that was a laughable moment. Next topic is something more serious. I just found out the, that about Colombia and Venezuela. I don't know. Stop texting me! Colombia and Venezuela, I don't even know how to say it, President, they want to actually try to repair the relationship, all right? I guess they don't like each other, and they had bad tension. Well, not I guess I, they had. They don't like each other. They had bad tension for some strange reason. Um, but now, Venezuelan President Hugo Chavo, and Colombia President Santos want to repair them. They want to fall in love again and be best friends. All right. So anyway, senators, our senators want Locksburg man data. Why do you want someone else data? Leave that. Leave him alone. Leave the Sadiq government alone. All right. Do you want the Sadiq government to bother us? I doubt that. Leave him alone. But I can say a lot about it because I have no idea whatsoever about that topic. But all I can say is leave them alone. Because do you really want the Sadiq government in our business? I doubt that. Now, speaking of our senator, uh, oh, I will congratulate her later. Now, um, oh, I just found this out. The F. FTA said in slowdown to buy U.S. Uh, debt. I guess that the FDA have this plan to buy some of the U.S. Debt, I mean U.S. debt. I mean, sounds great. We have tons of debt. Thank you, Bush, the asshole. But don't worry, I'm not bitching about Bush because President Obama, with his reforms and things like that, would bring our debt higher, all right? So I'm not only talking about Bush, I'm talking about President Obama. But here's the thing, here's the, diff here's the difference, all right? President Bush made our um, debt higher for stupid reasons. We went into war, we're spending all our money, a lot, not all, I'm sorry, a lot of our money on war that we don't even, we didn't even need to go into. President Obama is spending money that is gonna help us. For example, the health care. That, I understand that's gonna cost so much money. But think about it. In the long run, it's going to pay back. Alright? Think about, th think about the way I think. This is how I think. Alright? This is the way the economic go down. Alright? If you stay out of work because you're sick, that means you're not going to work. Correct? You're not going to work, that means you're not getting paid. Some jobs get paid, yes, but most jobs you don't get um, paid sick day. So if you're not getting paid, that means you're not, you may not have enough money to pay your bills, your mortgages, things like that. Which means you're not paying those things, which means those, which means you have to get behind, which means uh, you're gonna have to make more money to get back on track, which means, but at that moment you're not paying things. That means that company loses money, which some companies may go down. Com 
do good, may some may do bad. It's depending on the company. All right, which what I'm going to that with everyone losing money, the economies would slowly go down, and boom, look, our economy slowly is going down, down. Down. So that is why I am 100% for the health care because if you are not, if you are sick and you have health care, then you can go to the doctor, all right? You can go to work, make an appointment for your doctor, all right? Get better and continue to work, all right? But then you have also those cases where you are seeing serious illness, then that will hold the case. But other than that, health care reform is great. But it does cost a lot of money. I understand that. But you have to understand. Do you want a bunch of sick people running around, or do you want um a bunch of not sick people running around? I I don't want people sick at all. I know me. I I get sick once a year. I think I already got sick in the beginning of the year, and whew, that was the most horrible week. On my life, because when I get sick, I am terrible. I hate myself. But anyway, back to the FDA want to buy uh, you at that. I hey, if if the FD if the FT if the Fed wants to buy you at that, why not? We won't have that. All right, we have two more topic two of uh, wonderful world news uh, show, but. First, let's take a break. When we come back, we are going to talk about our very first Guantanamo trial that is underneath the Obama administration. We'll be waiting.